Marriage is to be honoured by all, and marriages are to be kept undefiled. God himself has said, I will not fail you or desert you. And so we can say with confidence, with the Lord to help me, I fear nothing. The word of the Lord. Alicia received this ring. Alicia received this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Scott received this ring. Scott received this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Okay, so we've got a new man on Alicia's life. We were both delighted when Alicia introduced us to Scott. As she kept under wraps for quite a while, and we had suspected that there was someone special in the background. We were even more delighted when he asked us for our blessing for them to be married, which has brought us all here to celebrate with them today. Well, thanks, yeah. Yeah. And let's not overlook the added joy of having wee Lola here to celebrate with us as well. Little Lola Bear, I couldn't miss you out because I know that you'll watch this in years to come. You are the most wonderful little bundle of happiness. You have brought so much joy to our days. I am learning how to be a mum and you have been so patient with me. Thank you for having such a sweet, gentle heart. I am excited to watch you grow and fall more in love with the person that you will become. Aren't weddings a, um, a great occasion to celebrate the love of two people? It's, it's an opportunity to have a party and um, to catch up with family and friends on a, on a very happy occasion. But um, Scott and Alicia have um, witnessed firsthand what marriage is all about. Scott's granddad, Angus MacDonald, he demonstrated the true meaning of marriage in sickness and in health when his wife, Scott's grandma, Rosemary, was unwell and in a home. Every day for nigh on 10 years, Angus visited Rosemary around lunchtime to feed her and keep her company. Now, Rosemary's unfortunately passed away, but the tenderness and love that was shown by Angus towards Rosemary in mar is marriage in its truest sense. So I hope you have taken a lesson from what you saw there. Alicia Mitchell, <laughs> my wife. I never knew there was someone out there that could make my life so much better. It's a funny thing where you don't know that you're missing something until you have it in the life, and that was you. You're the most amazing mother to our beautiful daughter, Lola, and I love you, and I love you for the rest of my life. Yes. You are an incredible human being, Scott Mitchell. I feel honoured not only to have you by my side and share my life with you, but to now call you my husband. When I met you, you managed the perfect balance of enough mystery to keep a girl interested, yet not too much as to have her question your every move. When we first started hanging out, I couldn't believe how many friends you had, and every single one of them would sing your praises every single time I met them. <laughs> It was really hard not to fall in love with the guy that everybody loves. Steady through the highs and lows, closer than your skin and bones. I'll be here for you. Look at you, Lily. Look. Okay. Wow. Your I'll be here for you. Yeah. Shining in your darkest night. Holding your heart in mine, I'll be here for you. I'll be here for you. I think you'll all agree, Alicia is uh, the perfect wife. Rightly so, she had a pretty long list of her criteria for the perfect husband. Um, pre preferably male. 
had to had to have dark hair, had to be loving, kind, kind eyes, I think it was kind eyes. Had to have a sister called Nicole, which ruled it down to 0.0001 to the power of 12 percent of the population, which was Scott. And thank goodness she found him. <laughs> Scotty. Scotty. Election day is here, my friend. The girl has been won, and this campaign is over. But the campaign promises are just beginning. Alicia. You're a fantastic catch for Scott. I'm sure your parents, Trevor and Chris, are so proud to see you here on this day. So, Scotty, to wrap up, I'd like to once again congratulate you on bending the knee. You've done well, mate. Thanks. In fact, that uh, the happiest people in the world are people that have a life that's rich in celebration, rich in tradition, and full of memories. And what a great celebration today has been. The Mitchells sure know how to throw a party. I, Scott Mitchell, take you, Alicia Williams, to be my wife, my partner in life, and my one true love. I, Alicia Williams, take you, Scott Mitchell, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honour you all the days of my life. I will cherish our marriage and love you more and more every day. You provide a safe place in your heart, unlike I've ever known. Regardless of the obstacles we may face, I promise I will be there for you, loving you faithfully to the end. Today I give you my hand, Today, I give you my hand, my heart, and my love. Together, we will be forever. and sisters let us now welcome the new husband and wife Scott and Alicia let us give them a round of applause